-huh. And he was telling them, Mr. Right here, he said, if you follow my words, you will know the truth. Uh -huh. That's why it's so important to study and read God's word. Yes. Yes. But when you read and study God's word, you will know the truth. Amen. So Jesus told them, praise God, and the truth, now different verses, different, well, depending on what you read. Uh, some says, the truth will make, and some say, set you free. Mm -hmm. yes. But both words are saying the same thing. Yes. Amen. Make that word, make the truth will make, that means it will develop you and create yes. you yes. a yes. new person. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you will be free from the law and be bruised and by law. And my favorite thing, uh, Pastor John, SOPs, yes. church doctrines, uh -huh. church rules. I uh, say that. Say amen. Amen. He said, you will know the truth and you will come out of that tradition, come out of those rules, bylaws, SOPs that people make up. To my say amen. amen. And call it church and not the word of God. He said, you follow my word, not the SOPs of the church. Yes. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. Since so you follow my words, you will know the truth. Uh -huh. And a lot of times, praise God, uh, uh, above and really, the problem a lot of people is they don't know his word, therefore they don't know the truth. Amen. 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 And the truth will make or set you what? Free. God's word was never, I don't understand churches today, God's word was never, amen, established to bind you. That's right. Amen. Now some of y'all been around. How many of y'all been around some churches and people? Amen. They got all kind of rules. Uh -huh. Can't wear this, can't go there, can't do that, can't do this, can't do that. I know you like, I, I was doing better. I'm coming to this church. Amen. <laughs> can't sit here, can't go over here, can't come up here, don't go over there. If you come up, you gotta sit here, you gotta go there. Right. Amen. It almost makes you walk, walk in some church and go, well, what can I do? Please tell me your rules and regulations for I, before I come up in here. Amen. Aren't you glad for good gospel? Amen. Aren't you glad God has traveled the ministry for God that you can come as you are? And God will do the change. God will work it out in your life. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. And when you let God work somebody out and free them, free them, they'll never go back to being bound again. Amen. I'm telling y'all the truth now. They'll never go back to that mess again. Amen. All right. Amen. Romans 12 and 2 says, let God transform you into a what? New person. By changing the what? The way you think. The, the old way you want to change, you got to change the way you think. Amen. Because before you do anything on this earth, you think it first. Amen. You create something twice. Uh -huh. You create it in your mind first, uh -huh. and then you do it. That's right. Come on now. Yes, do I have a witness in here? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I think tonight I can serve it. I'm going to go and I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> what? And guess what? If something here that this morning don't change your mind, when you get to where you're going after this service, you're going to do what? Turn it up. Turn it up. Because you created it in your mind, it's turn up. and then you physically did it. Amen. And, and, and that's why no excuse before God that my like, oops, I didn't mean it. I slipped. Oh, Amen. Amen. But if God can change the way you think, uh -huh. when you become a new person, then you're going to do certain things. Come on, man. Because you can think about how to give God praise. Amen. How to show forth his love. Amen. How to win a soul. So I say amen. Amen. And when you think it, praise God, you will do it. Amen. Amen. Uh, then you will know what God wants you to do. When God changes the way you think, then it says, see, this is why a lot of people cannot do what God wants them to do in the church. Mm -hmm. Because you know why? By changing the way you think, then it says, then, mm -hmm. am, I, am I reading it right? Are y'all reading it with me? Yeah. Yeah. It says, and then you will know what God wants you to do. Yeah. And that is what? His good, Please. pleasing, and perfect will for who? Your life. Or for your life. Yeah. Yeah. No, for me, I, I don't want right. to do something. I, I, no, no. I, I, see, God, would you work? See, God, would you be dead like me? See, Miss Boy, you got to be dead like me. Yeah. You got to be a carbon copy of your apostle. No. Of your pastor. No. no. Of, of your prophet. No. The evangelist. Uh, uh, the teacher. No. Come on, say amen. Amen. God wants you to be, amen. Change, God wants you to do 
to do his good and pleasing and perfect will for whose life? Somebody say amen. And then we can work together. When you fulfilling your purpose in your life, then our lives can work together. Amen. Because both part of our lives is going to be good, pleasing, and the perfect will of God. Amen. Somebody give God a hand for that. And, and this is why Pastor John, I believe there's so many conflict in the church. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, go on and preach, man. At 12, 15, you from Minnesota. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I've got to bless you. Amen. i got to do my job. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. See, God, see, my life, when we're doing the good, pleasing, and perfect will for our lives, my life will tag up with your life. Amen. And we can work together for right. filling God's purpose. Right. Come on, say amen. 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 I, you know, I hate to say this, but so many times they want you to do carbon copy. Uh, okay. Everybody shout like, dance the light, do this. You can tell who we're going. Sometimes you can tell who go to what church. Amen. Same thing. They all look like. They all do the same thing. Amen. Uh, amen. Like, they all carrying bags. But God, Amen. God likes diversity, Amen. Because you see, when God, God likes diversity, Mother, because you know why? When when, when God sees all of us working together from different backgrounds, different education levels, different economical levels, praise God. When God sees all of us working together as one, then the devil has no choice to realize. The devil can walk in and go, oh, I know they won. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. They so diverse, but they yet they won. Uh -huh. This has to be God. Yes. That's number one. Number two. Okay, what number one? God gets to do our God gives you what? A new identity. Now, they may either write this down. I asked for the transcripts to uh, give a Pastor John. She will email this message to you free. Amen. It comes in a PowerPoint format. Somebody say amen. amen. And you can also go to Pure God's Community Church. Go online. Go to YouTube. And type in what, y'all? Pure God's Community Church TV. And you can watch this message, amen, for free. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Right, number two, God gives me what? A new ability. God gives me a new ability. That's why, praise God, uh, Evangelist Marlo, no one can stand and tell you, praise God, amen, once you come into church, what, what can you do for God? Oh, bro, I don't know. That's not of God. Amen. When you come into Christ, God will give you a new okay. ability. Come on now. Amen. 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 That's why Pastor John was talking about earlier about falling back. That's right. That's why those who sing, praise God. Uh, uh, what's the sister name again? No, no. Huh? Keisha. Keisha. Hear your voice this morning. I know Pastor John was like, whoa, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and God didn't see you here just to see you here. Amen. Come on now. God allowed you to sing this morning to expose your guilt, amen, just, just to come and sing our song and open it on Facebook. Amen. No, she's been praying that God sent us some help. Amen. Y'all say amen to me. Amen. Well, she can sit down and do her job as pastor and others, amen, and use that gift, praise God, to lead us into a time of worship and praise. Amen. amen. Oh, I'm not talking to you, baby, but I'm just telling you, amen, what God is doing right. Amen. amen. You came in for a purpose. Yeah. Because we've been praying. Amen. That's right. And we got like some other churches, praise God. You ain't taking my spot, I'm going to pray to you. <laughs> Give me the mic. I'll do what I'm the mic. You want to go somewhere else? Not up in here, up in here. <laughs> I know it's comical, amen, but praise God, the thing is, praise God, God give us a new ability, and when we pray to God, God will bless others to use their ability. Right. Amen. I'm praying God will bless others to use their ability. Amen. Our little daughter, Sister Harrison, just came in and joined the church through the youth yes, department, yes. and friends said, I can dance, I can sing, and with the word. Yes, amen. Amen. Romans 5 and 5 says, God has poured out his love into work. Our heart. Now notice there, there's an S on that heart thing. Oh, yeah. I ain't talking about the thing to pump blood. Oh, yes. I'm talking about, amen, your mind, your emotion, yes. your, your feelings, your desires, uh -huh. your ability, praise God. Yes. God has poured out his love into our hearts. Yes. 
Yes. By means of what? The Holy Spirit. Who is God? It ain't an it. It ain't a dance. Come on, somebody. Amen. It ain't God. <laughs> it ain't that. That's right. That's right. Come on. Somebody say amen. Amen. 